Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Tyler Ruggie. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I wanted to let my reptiles spend some time outside in the pool because it's nice outside and it's really, really good for reptiles to get natural sunlight. So I thought I would fill up the pool and let them chill out in the sun. <laughs> I have a little plastic pool that I'm going to fill up with dechlorinated water and let some of my reptiles that benefit from being in water or being in natural sunlight just spend a pretty short amount of time in the pool outside so they can soak up some sun and whatever. They're going to be supervised and between animals I am going to change the water to make sure everything is all sanitary. But I just wanted to put in that disclaimer so if any of you guys decide to let your animals spend some time outside uh, just make sure that it's safe for them, the weather's good for them, and that you know if you're gonna put them in a pool make sure it's an animal that can soak in water and that it's good for them. Some animals don't do good in water. Also of course if you're going to bathe multiple animals make sure you're cleaning it out, keeping it sanitary, make sure the water is a good temperature for them. I kind of have a feel for which of my animals enjoy being in water and will benefit from being outside whereas others may not. I am keeping all of that in mind, but without further ado, let's just get straight into it. So yeah, I think I'm gonna start with my turtle. So let's go grab turtle. All right, so first up in the pool, we have turtle. So here we go. And again, I made sure the temperature was good for turtle. I measured it and the temperature was good. So turtle, do you love it? Yeah. The reason I actually originally bought this pool was for Turtle to spend time outside and get to swim around and be in the sunlight because, like I mentioned, reptiles really benefit from the natural sunlight. You can't really replicate that indoors and Turtle was a rescue who had never had UVB for the 13 years of his life that he's been alive, or around 13 years. And I have no idea how his shell isn't super deformed or how he's alive, but he is. One of the things the vet recommended I do was let him spend time outside in the sunlight because sunlight is literally like a natural medicine for sick reptiles that have things like MBD because, you know, it's like the most pure form of UV you can get. So I actually let Turtle go out in this pool whenever I can because it's really good for Turtle and yeah, you just want to be careful not to let him sit out in here too long because obviously the water is going to heat up sitting in the sunlight, so you need to make sure you're adding fresh water so that it stays a good temperature. But he loves it. Next up, we have my bearded dragon, Malachi. <laughs> He's so goofy. Bearded dragons also really benefit from natural sunlight because obviously they're from the desert, so they spend a lot of time in the wild basking outside. So bearded dragons often really love spending time outside. I like to put Malachi in this little pool because he can't really super easily get out of it. I always supervise him. So if he starts to try climbing out, I can grab him. But he really likes sitting in here and I also made the water a lot more shallow for him because bearded dragons don't really like to swim in deep water and you sh I just wouldn't recommend that. And I also like to soak my bearded dragon because he doesn't drink out of a water dish. So typically he'll only drink when I'm soaking him or if I'm spraying him with water. So having him in this shallow pool outside in the sunlight is killing two birds with one stone because he's getting to soak and he's also getting his basking time outside. As I'm sure you can tell, bearded dragons are just really exciting, energetic creatures. This video is just so riveting with me showing Malachi. Um, I decided to get some roaches as a snack to help get Malachi a little more excited, so. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. When you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Malachi, look, there's a roach. Do you want another one?
It's a good boy, Malachi. You're so good. Oh no, my finger's not food. That's not a worm. That's just me petting you. It's a good boy. I love my dog. All right, so now we're gonna teach Malachi some tricks in the pool. Some positive reinforcement. Malachi, can you sit? Stay. Good boy. We love that. We love a well-trained lizard. So next up, we have Caster, my blue tongue skink. So what I also want you guys to notice is the pool is actually kind of on an angle. So the water's a little bit deep. Well, not deep, but deeper on that side. And then over on this side, there's like no water. So there's kind of a gradient so he can decide how much in the water he wants to be. Right now, he's like, I don't want to be in here at all but his small pathetic legs won't let him escape. Oh my God, I love their little legs. Once again, I'm gonna give him a couple roaches just cause I think they look really funny when they try to eat. Caster, look, do you want a roach? Will you please accept my offering? Do you want a treat? Look, look. No, you don't want the roach. All right, so I think Caster has officially had enough of the pool, so we can move on. <laughs> Caster says this is not a hot girl summer. It's Halloween time. Next up in the pool is Athena, my common boa. But I just wanted to show you guys really quick how big she's getting. She is just getting so big and I'm obsessed with her. Look how pretty she is. She isn't any special more. She's just a normal common boa. But I just think that they are so pretty. They just have this natural beauty to them. Obviously, all those really expensive snake morphs are really cool. Like, I can't deny that. But I think people often forget to give credit to just the normal morphs because they're still really pretty. I have people ask me all the time, it's funny, what morph is Athena? And Athena's just a normal common boa. People even ask me about Monty, my ball python. They're like, what morph is he? He's just a normal ball python. <laughs> So yeah, this is Athena. Just want to give you guys a kind of scale to how big she is. And she is a pretty friendly snake. She's not my friendliest. She definitely has her moods where she's like, back off, don't handle me. But she was in a good mood today, so I decided to let her come out, enjoy some time in the sunlight, get some of those UV rays, and we'll see if she wants to spend some time in the pool too. So let's go put Athena in the little pool. I love Athena so much. Oh my gosh. Okay. You're just so excited, aren't you? Athena is just having the time of her life. Have you ever seen a more content boa? Hot girl summer is officially here. Athena's a little late to the hot girl summer party, but she's just sitting there. She doesn't even want to move. You're not even going to try to leave. She must really like the sunlight. She looks so content in the sunlight, basking. She has some water to soak in. Solomon, on the other hand, is not enjoying pool vibes as much as Athena was. He's like, I'm going away. I'm just obsessed with how pretty Solomon's colors are out in the sunlight. By the way, just so you guys know, I don't treat my lawn with any fertilizers or pesticides or anything. So he's allowed to go in the grass and it's completely fine. You were supposed to be in the pool for this video. You're not, you're not supposed to leave the pool. That's Chilang. Where are you going, Solomon? Solomon is just not here for hot girl summer. I guess Solomon just prefers the grass, you know? He's not a pool kind of guy. Yeah, do you like the grass better than the pool, Solomon? What are you doing? Solomon, come back here. The title of this video is letting my pets go in the pool, not letting my pets wander around outside in the backyard. Okay, bye Solomon. 
when people comment on my videos that my animals should be released into the wild. Okay, bye. Solomon's that one friend who's like, I'm not gonna go in the pool, I'll just dip my toes in. I don't wanna get wet. I'm a sore loser. I hate everything that's fun. Is that comfortable for you, Solomon? Is that a good position that you're enjoying? That doesn't, that looks very strange. What are you doing? <laughs> He's like, I don't know how to balance on the edge of this pool. Hopefully my neighbors aren't watching me right now. This would be a really hard thing to explain, me filming my snakes in a pool while talking to them as if they understand me. Okay, Solomon, do you wanna go inside now? Are you done? We can go inside if you don't wanna be out here anymore. He's like, I'm just gonna check out the perimeter just to make sure it's all safe first. And then maybe I'll think about going in the pool. Maybe. I'm literally sweating and I'm disgusting, so I apologize. That was me letting my pets go in the pool. And now Solomon is trying to strangle me. Live on footage, Solomon, really? You're not even gonna try to do this in like the privacy of our own home. You're just gonna do it out in the open while I'm filming. Like, snakes are scary creatures that will try to strangle you to death. So yeah, that was me letting my pets go out in the pool. Most of them enjoyed it. Pretty much all of them enjoyed it, except Solomon kept wanting to wander the yard, which is fine. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. I post videos every week. Also, don't forget to check out my social media and my vlog channel. There's be linked down in the description below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, Solomon. Bye. I promise I won't make you go in the pool again.